Hey guys, Don Mazu with Flipping Cars For Real and I have a very, very informative video for you today. Think about it guys, I want you to go ahead and open up your minds. I want you to go ahead and think about how I could be able to go ahead and make $30,000 a month. How can I make $30,000 selling and flipping these used cash cars? Is it even possible? How could I go about getting into this money and consistently make $30,000 a month? Let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you how to go about expanding your mind, expanding your creativity and for you to go ahead and make $30,000 a month flipping these cash cars. Let's get it in. Let's go. So, hey, guys, um, I want to go ahead and put you on game on how you could go ahead and make $30,000 per month. I repeat, $30,000 per month flipping these cash cars. Now, the thing is, will you make exactly $30,000 a month every single month? The answer is yes. Yes, yes, you will make exactly $30,000 a month as long as the economy is going as normally as it should, meaning there are no drastic fluctuations in the economy. There's no strange, weird anomaly going on or something, you know, that could throw you off of your game. As long as things are near normal or going according to plan when it comes to people buying and selling, you know, there's a balance when it comes to um, supply and demand. You could consistently make $30,000 every single month. Now, you're going to ask, how can I go about doing this? Well, I'm going to show you how. So let's think about it, guys. Let's do the math because with me, I like showing proof and letting you understand how you could go about getting this money. I don't just like talking and then you kind of guessing what is he talking about. Let me show you the numbers. Let's get it in. The way we do this used car business is we go about getting these vehicles low price and figuring out the pricing strategy to be able to sell these cars at the lowest price possible and for us to go ahead and make profit. Now, the thing is, you're wondering, okay, how many cars am I going to go ahead and have to sell in order for me to make $30,000 in sales per month? Ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and demonstrate to you. First, let's think about it. You go ahead and you purchase a car at the auction. Like I always mention, try to make sure that you stay within budget and that you go ahead and restrain yourself. Do not try to go ahead and compete against other buyers at the auction or if you're purchasing them online and you're having this contest on, oh, I really want this car. If the car has surpassed your set budget, keep it moving. Do not go ahead and fall into this trick of getting a car that you have no business purchasing because your money is not where it needs to be in order for you to purchase this car. I do not want you to go ahead and regret purchasing a car. Now, there is a technique to purchasing these cars low price. You got to go ahead and do your research and find out, okay, what is the value of this vehicle? Each vehicle has a certain value and you got to go ahead and understand the value of the vehicle at the auction so you don't spend more money than what the vehicle is actually worth. And also you got to go ahead and make sure how much money is somebody going to give me for this vehicle in actuality, not just per book or, um, you know, MMR, but what is the person actually going to go ahead and pay me for this vehicle? This is where you're going to go ahead and dive into what are others in the community selling the same vehicle for? I always mention this in my videos. You are not competing against other dealerships. You are competing against private sellers. What is the average private seller within a 30 or 50 mile radius selling this exact same car for? On average. Again, guys, you're going to get some outliers that you're going to have a car that somebody's going to go ahead and sell the car for cheap, super cheap. Usually something is wrong with the vehicle or they really want to get rid of the vehicle. You know, let's say you go and you check out this vehicle. It's in horrible condition or something ridiculous is going on that they did not disclose you yourself you are making sure that you sell vehicles that are of quality again you're going to go ahead and figure out how you're going to go ahead and compete against these private sellers now the thing is you're gonna go ahead and correctly price your vehicles and i'm flipping cars for real we have a specific strategy that helps you figure out exactly how to price the vehicles that is super important because that is one of the challenges that i had initially trying to figure out how much money should I sell this vehicle? 
it's not rocket science, but it is an art and special technique for you to go ahead and figure out exactly what is the right price, what is that sweet spot that you're going to go ahead and sell the vehicle, and what wiggle room you have in case if you have to unfortunately possibly fix something in the vehicle or what wiggle room you have for potential negotiation. But remember, you're selling these low price cash cars. I mean, technically, you're going to go ahead and run a dealership that is a no haggle, no hassle dealership, meaning the person could haggle all they want and try to go ahead and bring your price down. But the price is the price. If they don't like the price, then oh, well, you go ahead and give them a discount if you wish, or you tell them, you know, sorry, I can't go any lower and they may walk off, but that's okay because there's another person standing in line waiting to go ahead and get your vehicle because you have the best prices in the region. Let's make sure you get that right and understand that. You're not going to go ahead and try to be greedy, but you're not going to go ahead and give away your cars either. So make sure you understand this. So moving forward, you're going to go ahead and make sure that you price your vehicles correctly and stick with us right here. We'll show you how to go ahead and go about doing this. Now, thing is, you're going to have this vehicle that you're going to go ahead and make sure you do not surpass fifteen hundred dollars. Um, on this vehicle if you do have to surpass fifteen hundred dollars make sure that you don't surpass more than two thousand dollars and if you're going to go ahead and spend approximately two thousand dollars on the vehicle make sure that the vehicle is worth it make sure it has some value don't purchase a vehicle for two thousand dollars and on the streets the value is only twenty five hundred dollars you just wasted your time and wasted your money you want to go ahead and make sure that if you do get a vehicle for fifteen hundred dollars you could solidly make a minimum of twelve fifty $1,500 on this vehicle minimum. If you're going to go ahead and purchase a vehicle and the value of it is low and you notice that, okay, why would you go ahead and, for example, get a Kia Optima that is 15 years old when the value of that vehicle is only $2,500 and you're purchasing it at the auction for you know, $1,500 or $1,600. You got to go ahead and make sure you understand. If I go and purchase this vehicle for $1,500, are you comfortable if this vehicle ends up having a surprise issue paying $500 for it and this car ends up costing you approximately $2,000? You got to go ahead and put that in your mind. Sometimes you don't think about that, but are you comfortable saying, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and spend $2,000 in this vehicle. Technically, you're trying to go ahead and not surpass $1,500. But if, let's say, you do have to fix an issue, a surprise issue that you did not see while checking out the vehicle at the auction or it was not announced to you and you go ahead and purchase this vehicle, are you okay spending $2,000? Will you go ahead and make at least $3,000, $3,200, $3,500, you know, by selling this vehicle? So you got to go ahead and make sure you understand it. Now, I say that on average, your vehicles will go ahead and sell uh, approximately for $3,000, right? So you got to go ahead and understand this and be able to make sure that you make your profit. Now, the question is, how do I go about making $30,000 a month? Let's think about it. You want to go ahead and situate yourself where you're going to go and sell at least 10 vehicles per month. Selling 10 vehicles per month on average with each vehicle selling for $3,000. Ladies and gentlemen, you just sold for $30,000 a month. Now you go ahead and you multiply 30,000 multiplied, let's say, by 10. And the reason why I say 10, you may have one or two slow months. Make sure you understand this. It's not exact science. You may have one or two slow months and you go ahead and let's say you factor that in and you sell for two, for 10, correction, for 10 strong months, you sell on average 10 vehicles. There's some months you may sell more than 10 vehicles. You're aiming for that. But if you sell approximately 10 vehicles per month for 10 strong months, and I give you two months where things may be a bit slow, but you have 10 strong months of selling approximately 10 vehicles per month, you just grossed three hundred thousand dollars in sales for the year and you were making approximately thirty thousand dollars per month for those 10 strong months you are making money you are making money and you're doing it in a very intelligent fashion where you are getting cars with high value they're out there there are hundreds of cars out there at your fingertips that you could be able to purchase on a monthly basis there are hundreds and hundreds of cars that are being 
soul tr- you know transactions are being made that you have the ability to be able to get your hands on get your eyes on be able to evaluate examine and that are in the price range that you are looking for and that you are able to sell and make this money keep a lock right here like share and subscribe make sure you understand that you could make thirty thousand dollars a month the numbers are straightforward again to summarize you go ahead and you Make sure you purchase vehicles for no more than $1,500. If you go ahead and purchase a vehicle for more than $1,500 and you have to purchase for $2,000, for example, you go ahead and you make sure you sell that vehicle for no less than $3,500. You purchase a car for $1,500, you make sure you sell it for no less than $3,000. If you're able to sell it for a little bit more and has value and you are competing with the private sellers, then you sell it for that much. If you make $3,000 sale multiplied by 10, you are making $30,000 per month in sales. $30,000 multiplied by 10 solid months of you flipping these cars, you would have made over $300,000 in sales. You can make more than that if you hustle hard and depending on your area, you are able to definitely sell more than just 10 cars per month. Keep a lock right here. Again, like, share, and subscribe. And let's get this money. Perfect.